So what's up everybody? It's me, it's me, at True Star Screamer, and we are here with yet another Marvel Legends review. Once again, the box has already been tossed, so I don't have to worry about packaging. We are looking at the um, MCU Mr. Knight figure. Uh, this is a figure kind of excited about, kind of let down about, kind of happy to get, kind of wish I had things done a little differently. Uh, forgive this diorama. It's actually, this is actually not one I built. This is one I bought from somebody ages ago, and it's definitely been put through the paces. And his brick works a lot better than mine, so I figured I wanted a street character. I wanted a street background. So, hope hope you like it. Um, but this is really the only thing from this wave that I am getting. So, um, I might get the Moon Knight. I'm a little iffy about the cape. If I win one in a contest that I've entered, I'll be happy with that, but I'm not quite sure if I want to spend money on it. Partially, I'm not quite sure I wanted to spend money on this guy, to be honest. I mean, and we're going to talk about this. There's, there was just a lot of awesome that could have been done with this. And, I mean, he's serviceable. He absolutely is serviceable. I don't just, I gotta tell you guys, handling a Marvel legend after handling classified figures though, oh my gosh. I think I may have mentioned this during my Zemo video. It just feels like I'm taking a step backwards. And we'll talk about that too. Um, accessory wise, he comes with a pair, of, he comes packaged holding a pair of fist hands, which are, I, I mean, it's got nice texturing on the gloves. Let's see if I can bring that in there. It's got, so, I mean, he's wearing, he wears gloves and I do like that. We've got like the cloth texturing, so they look very nice. Uh, they have the, um, regular wrist hinge and then he has his holding hands with the same type of um, texturing except these have the up and down hinges which makes me very happy this is kind of like how I wanted Zemo to be so again he's got points going for him on that he also comes with a build a figure piece for a build a figure I have no interest in because to be honest I didn't watch the what if so I don't know about this crazy alt version of Ultron but I will tell you now, um, I'm not a fan of this plastic. So I can already tell you I would have been disappointed in the Build-A-Figure. Though it does look cool. But, um... I can... It barely ha It doesn't... I don't know. I can just tell I would be let down for that Build-A-Figure. So, uh, I might give this to a buddy of mine. But enough about the accessories. Let's talk about him. And, oh, yes, he does hold his... Eskrima sticks, which these are really, really well done. I, I, it's weird. Like, of all the things, I was surprised. This they did not cheap out on. It's got, like, hieroglyphics embossed. Not even printed, but, like, raised print on the edges. And they could have easily gone one color with this. But they actually did the two-toning. I guess after handling all those Daredevil figures with those cheap batons, um, this was definitely a nice step up. So, uh, let's talk about the figure himself. I mean, he's a near stark white figure, which is good. He does have silver buttons, though, which is a nice touch. He's got silver buttons on the vest and silver cufflinks. So it's just, and finally, he's got these awesome blue piercing eyes. So the effect is done well. Like, there's a lot I like done with this. Uh, the shoes have got the wrappings on them, kind of like how the uh, Moon Knight has, like, the mummy wrappings on it, so... That's nice, and it's got this cool stitching along the mask. Part of me is almost like, could I dry brush this and bring out some of the details? But at the same time, I do like this pure whiteness to it. So, presentation-wise, this I, I, I'm pleased. I mean, the, this is using the suited body, so we got the tie there. Um, this jacket is made specifically for him which is nice and it isn't, and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, this is just an overlay piece, kind of like all their other jackets. A little bit of a split back there, and we'll... He's got, he's, he's stiff. He's definitely very stiff. Uh, he's got the pin joints, but being everything white, I don't mind it too badly. Though the bias step swivel, it just feels like it's cut a little low. And it's made out of a different plastic than the shoulder, so that kind of breaks the immersion. And I guess 
that would probably be my number one complaint about this guy. Aesthetically, he just kind of breaks his own immersion with the different colored plastics on here. Um, articulation, standard Marvel Legend. Got the shoulder, no bicep swivel here, no uh, butterfly joint here. That definitely saddens me. I mean, I got these, I love these wrists for the baton hands. These are great. Um, but being a baton wielder, I would have loved him to have had the butterfly joints. Uh, this, the jet, the uh, legs. I believe these are new suited legs. These are pinless, which is nice. Um, you know, why couldn't they have gone pinless arms? Couldn't tell you. I'm not part of the design team, but uh, they bend just well. Uh, the ankle's really stiff, but I can get it to go back a notch and goes forward. Barely goes forward any, but it's probably better suited than, say, um, not the Nick, the uh, Agent Coulson body. So he does stand better than that. Uh, hips are a little, the legs themselves, it's a little gappy down here. So, and that again, that kind of breaks that immersion. This jacket, okay. So I like the stitchings. You know, almost like feathering on them. Again, that high-end look to it. Uh, I'm going to put a picture of the comic book version of Mr. Knight right about now. And he does have the vest. And I kind of hate how they did that. That sounds weird. But because the vest and the jacket, you know, this is all kind of one piece. It's almost like this itself is a vest that goes over everything. I kind of wish almost like the vest was printed on the under torso and then the jacket was just over it because that would open up so much more articulation. This body has an ab crunch, but I can't utilize it because of this sleeve over his body. And of course these holes are so big that again, breaks, wait for it, breaks the immersion. Can do the waist swivel and one thing that is nice about this i have to say is i'm not seeing that broken waist so you have you know this is not all is bad but i don't know um when i move his leg forward or if i bend him forward here the whole jacket again starts to slide up so it looks like he's wearing a jacket that's a size too big for him and when you're doing photography and posing you know that kind of that gets to you. One thing I am tempted to do is to take a knife and cut this split up and I was gonna say customize but I was told by a good friend of mine that we don't customize jackets we tailor them but to be basically to increase this split a little more and that might give a little more room for this jacket to flow a little so when I move the legs out again the jacket doesn't rise. So I might do that afterward. That might be the only major um, customizing I do to him. But he still can get some solid poses. I mean, I can do it right here. Got that angle pivot. He's ready to throw some justice in the street. So this is not a horrible figure by far. It's just I like the Mr. Knight design. I liked him in the comics. I liked him in the show. I just feel like this could have been a little bit more. You know, take the staffs out there. We'll pop out one of the hands. I think one of the reasons I also would have liked the jacket being able to be removed in the vi in the vest underneath. I think at one point he takes off his jacket and kind of does the whole fisticuffs thing I can't remember from the show um, one thing I do like though I can do the whole bend the wrist here a little make him look like he's kind of straightening his tie which is pretty neat again butterfly joint I'll be able to pull that look off perfectly ah, there we go get that behind his back so he does have the sort of gentlemanly look I'm hoping this isn't the last we see of a mr. Knight design I definitely would like a comic book version of Mr. Knight. And if I was going to do a comic book version, well, I just happen to have a 
um, Jigsaw, which if you want me to review this guy, let me know. Put a leave a note in the comments, you know, as you give me my thumbs ups and hit those subscribes buttons. Uh, I just haven't, I'm probably not going to review him because I think all the reviews are already out and I don't think anybody has any interest in my views on him. Spoiler alert, I like him. But I do like how his jacket is. If you notice how the jacket here, it's got, it still has the vest on there, but it's cut higher. So it gives him a little better look. I think this is on the Happy Hogan body, I want to say. Uh, couldn't... I couldn't tell you about some research, but that done in white, I think this could make another good Mr. Knight figure. But if you want to see how they look together, this is definitely not a Bucky Cat Buck. So he definitely has some stature differences. But as you know, uh, with Moon Knight, even Taskmaster ain't going to mess with him because Moon Knight is nuts. But there you go, two suited bodies next to each other. So not everything is negative about this guy. Um, I mean... I'm happy I got him. Um, I have ordered him off Amazon. He showed up. I have not seen him in stores yet myself. But uh, if you see him at a GameStop and you got that five buck coupon, this would be a good figure to use the five buck coupon on. Let's put it that way. Uh, as a Marvel legend, he's more than serviceable. Uh, as an MCU figure, he's fine. I guess I'm a little... Hasbro itself, just with some of their designs. I mean, I'm so glad I'm not in black. I'm not in the black series right now, because oh my lord, that would be, I'd be getting ticked off if I was spending money on that. But this could definitely be better. What I will say is, it's gotten my attention enough to to hopefully, you know, to hope that Mezco will release a Mr. Knight figure, because I think my collection could use one in my high end stuff. So. Eh, seven and a half, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, I'll be nice. It's Christmas. It's almost Christmas time. But, uh, yeah. If you see him in, I would, I would say if you see him in a GameStop, use the five buck coupon and you'll be happy. If not, put him on your honey list. No, I'm not sponsored by honey, but dang, I like that. Um, and hopefully he goes on sale. I mean, if I see another one on sale, I wouldn't mind doing that just to try to do the, a little more uh, customi customizing to it and seeing what kind of other heads and, and stuff I can fit on here. But tell me your thoughts, you know, leave me a comment down below, uh, of course hit that uh, like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends that there's another reviewer out there who doesn't take things hopefully too seriously, but we'll tell it as it is. And until next time, take care my friends, peace.